The first human inhabitants of Easter Island are believed to have arrived here around 300 to 400 AD. It's believed that Easter Island's first king was Hotumatu, a powerful ruler who came from a Polynesian subgroup. The island is one of the most remote communities in the world. Its closest inhabited neighbour is located over 1,200 miles to the west of the island, while the nearest continental land lies in Chile at a distance of 2,300 miles. What's most intriguing is the transportation of the island statues. It's incredible to think they were moved 11 miles across the island without the use of wheels, cranes or large animals. Over the years, researchers have had heated debates over how the statues were moved. Scientists have tested several theories and it's thought the natives used a combination of log rollers, ropes and wooden sledges. However, in 2011, Terry Hunt of the University of Hawaii worked with the National Geographic, and they proved that a mere 18 people could move a 3 meter statue replica weighing 5 tons a few hundred meters with just 3 strong ropes and some practice. However, it's not known if this would have worked with the more larger statues, some of which weighed up to 88 tons. However, not everyone is convinced that this is how they were transported. While some experts find the demonstration persuasive, others think it's unlikely the large statues could have walked upright on the island's rough terrain. Like many Pacific islands, the physical landscape of Easter Island is dominated by volcanic topography, and it was formed by three extinct volcanoes. Easter Island is considered a distinct eco-region by ecologists. At the time of its initial colonization, the island is believed to have been dominated by large broadleaf forest and palm. Other researchers suggest the island's population was never that large, and this would have made moving the statues difficult. Some of the Maui bases are curved so they didn't stand upright, but instead would topple forward. This means that the walking theory would not apply to these statues. This has led some researchers to suggest the statues weren't made to stand upright, but rather were meant to be rolled into place not walked. The construction of these incredible statues appears to have stopped around the time of European contact in 1722. This would have been around the time when Dutch explorers landed on the island. Over 100 years the Moa would fall over, either intentionally pushed over or from neglect. Why construction was abandoned is one of the world's greatest mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.